Tell you what, reading the press today, he's been a naughty boy, hasn't he? Old Tarby. Have you heard about old Jimmy? Now I like Jimmy. Nothing against Jimmy Tarby. Always liked him. Bubum. Did he do Bubum or was that Basil Barosh? I think they both did it, but they did it a different way. Or did he be boom boom? Anyway, that don't, don't matter. I digress. I always digress. Have you heard about Tabby, what he's done? Yeah, I believe it was in May. It's only just come to court now. Yeah, he's been playing dodgems on the Queen's Highway. You know, dodgem cars. Somebody needs to tell him. You can't do... Dodgems is for the fairground, Tabby, not for the old Queen's Highway. Yeah, he's coming home, I think, late at night, near his £5.5 million pound mansion and uh, in his green Lexus. And he's hit a car. And then he's hit three or four more. He's got entangled with one car. I think it was a Vauxhall Corsa. And he's carried it the length of three houses before he's disentangled himself. Anyway, what's he done then? Nothing. Not got out and knocked on any doors. He's drove home. Very, very naughty is that. Luckily for the owners of the cars, somebody caught him on the old doorbells, eh? They belt us them doorbells, aren't they? They don't miss much. Oh, no, they don't miss much. They caught Tarby out anyway. And he's been to court. He's had a fine. And he's apologised to one and all. I've seen what the fine was and whatever else. I thought he's been very, very lucky, very lenient. He's hit five or six cars, man, and drove home. That's not nice. To his £5.5 million pound mansion and his big bank balance. If anyone could afford to have them cars repaired, it'd be Tarby. Jimmy, that's not the you, you I knew, man. You, you've still got that old bit of old scouse in you trying to get away with a thing or two. Hey, you should have, what's it called? If you'd have any of them hard enough, you might have dropped some up caps there. You could have picked up a couple of up caps. You wasn't thinking, was you? Ah, you wasn't thinking. Anyway, don't do it again. Consider this a slap on the wrist.